Let's learn English. Hello children, I am Chanjika Peris. Today I am going to help you to make some sentences in passive voice. Kogolu hitanavane active voice, passive voice, amaru yela. Manga the ogolanda lazy kramia kela denda hadani. Kuhumada active voice sentences, passive voice solta haravani kela. Hundai. Let's learn English. Active and passive voice. Today let's learn active and passive voice sentences. Let's look at this sentence. I eat a mango. That is an active voice sentence. I eat a mango. Mama, amba gediya kano. When we look at this sentence, I is the subject. Nedi kriya vakaranni me vakke I. Doer. Doer is I. Eat is the verb. Eat. Kano ma ekata mai kriya pade. Eat is the verb. A mango. A mango is the Object. S V O. The kotabe vaakke ka subject, verb, object. English hi the sentence pattern ne kapi kino S V O. Subject, verb, object. Doer, then verb, then object. Now, let's turn this sentence into passive voice. But before that, let's learn these verbs. First, let's learn helping verbs or be verbs. Abhi helping verbs ke lap ke no, be verbs ke lap ke no. Present tense, past tense, future tense. Vartamana kali be verbs himnatta helping verbs tamai am is a past tense atita kale was am then past tense of am was is past tense was a past tense were future tense anagata kale gatto am future tense is will be is future tense is will be are future tense will be. Now let's learn some verbs. They are useful to make sentences. Present, present tense, past tense, and then past participle form. Present form, past form, past participle. Eat. If you do not know the meaning, you can learn the meaning. Eat. Kano. Past tense. Ate. Past participle. Eaten. Drink. Bono. Past tense. Drank. Past participle. Drunk. Present tense. Write. Leno. Past tense wrote. Past participle written. See. Dakino. Past tense saw. Past participle seen. Read. Kevano. Past tense read. Past participle, read. Here, present tense, past tense and past participle, spellings, they are same. 
නේද අපි දකිනවා spellings මේ තුනේම එකමයි හැබැයි අපි present tense වලදී we pronounce as read past tense as read past participle as read 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 take ganna past tense took past participle taken give denawa past tense gave past participle given watch balano naramano api tv balano kiyanne watch past tense watched past participle watched api eke di api ed thamai add karala thiyenne we have add added the ed do karano we do homework homework api karano kiyanne do past tense did past participle done worship vandinawa worshiped when the worshiped we added ed worshiped worshiped let's read them again read with me eat eat eaten drink drank drunk write wrote written see so seen read 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 take took taken give gave given watch watched watched do did done worship worshiped worshiped now let's learn these pronouns when we turn the active voice sentences into passive voice we need these pronouns especially object pronouns but when we make a sentence we need subject pronouns වාක්‍යයක් හදනකොට අපිට නේද subject එක හැටියට උක්තේ හැටියට තියන්න උදව් කරන්නේ subject pronouns object pronouns අපිට කර්මය හැටියට පාවිච්චි කරනකොට උදව් වෙනවා Let's learn the subject pronouns and object pronouns. I, mum. Object pronoun me, mava, mutter. We, api. Object pronoun us, apiva, apava, apata. You. oba u obava obata then uh, singular form and plural form they are same bahuwachana walata ekawachana walata u kiyana pade ekamai oba u he oh him ohuta ohuwa she ay ha ayata ayava it u api balle gena sathe gena kadal karana kota it it u uta ek පන්නේ දෙයක් ගැන කතා කරනකොට දේ ඔහු 
them own va ownt let's read these subject pronouns and object pronouns again read with me subject pronoun object pronouns i me we us you you he him she her it it they them now we are going to turn the active voice sentences into passive voice sentence let's look at the example i eat a mango this is an active voice sentence i subject eat verb a mango object before turn this sentence into passive voice we have to think about the tense and the number of this sentence i eat a mango when we find the tense we have to look at the verb neda mona kaleta aitida kiyala present tense the past tense the future tense the kiyala mona kaleta aitida kiyala bala ganna puluwang wenne apita me kriya pade diha balala what is the verb here eat eat is a present tense verb can you remember last time we learn the present tense verb form past tense verb form and past participle verb form there we see eat is the present tense then number number means here a mango මේක ඒක වචනද බහුවචනද සිංගියුලර් ඔ ප්ලූරල් after finding those things we are going to turn this into passive voice ඒ දෙක හොයාගෙන තමයි tense එකයි සිංගියුලර් ප්ලූරල් ඒකයි හොයාගෙන තමයි අපි passive voice වලට හරවන්නේ then a mango අපි ඒක ඉස්සරහට ගන්නවා දැන් මේ ඇක්ටිව් වයිස් පැසිව් වයිස් කියලා ගන්නේ අපි සිංහල එදි කියනවනේ මෙහෙම මිනිසා ගසකපයි මිනිසා විසින් ගස කපන ලදි ඒක ඒක තමයි අපි මේ පැසිව් වයිස් කියලා කියන්නේ එතකොට අ මැංගෝ අපි මැංගෝ කියන එක ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් එක we take the object to the front a mango is eaten api eat kena eke third verb form eka e kiyanne past participle form is used here eaten can you remember eat eat eaten third verb form eka thama api gatte eaten etukota api dannawa meka singular kiyala a mango mango singular eka nisa api ara be verbs helping verbs kiyala api gana gatte present tense wala neida be verb kiyala api gatte is am are kiyana eka etukota metene a mango is present tense a mango kenika do singular eka nisa api mokada karanne is kiyala da gannawa is eaten a mango it's plural uh, not a plural noun it's a singular noun therefore we use the helping verb is then past participle form of eat that is eaten is eaten by me mithene i kiyala tibich ekak mokata kare me i kiyanne subject pronoun i is the subject pronoun me is the object pronoun of i 
එතකොට අපි මොකද කරන්නේ විසින් කියලා අපි කියන පදේ එන්න තමයි වගේ අපි බයි දාගන්නේ බයි මී a mango is eaten by me i eat a mango active voice a mango is eaten by me passive voice svo now ovs like that pattern is here now look at this sentence i eat mangoes in this sentence i subject eat verb it is present tense mangoes object that is plural eka bahu wachane issala sentence eke a mango eka wachana meke mangoes godak gena katha karanno amba active voice tense and number we have to think about then eat present tense mangoes plural form then let's look at the sentence example mango mangoes mangoes it is plural therefore we use the helping verb a a then eat as it is present tense eat ate eaten third verb form or past participle of eat a eaten by me i eat a mango a mango is eaten by me i eat mangoes mangoes are eaten by me mama ambeyak kanu ambeyak ma visin kanu lebe i eat mangoes mama amba kanu अंबा मावेसीन कानू लेबे हमने तब मावेसीन नंबर कानू लेबे ऐसी वॉइस I eat a mango a mango is eaten by me I eat mangoes mangoes are eaten by me I think it is very easy if you look at the way of making these sentences Now let's do these activities. Turn these active voice sentences into passive voice. They are very easy sentences. You can understand very easily. Then go through the examples and try to turn these active voice sentences into passive voice. I eat a bun. I eat buns. I drink a cup of tea. I drink two cups of tea. I write a sentence. I write sentences. I see you. I read a book. I read books. I take your pen. I take your pens. I do homework. Turn these sentences into passive voice sentences. Did you turn the active voice sentences into passive voice? Okay. Now let's see your answers. I eat a bun. A bun is eaten by me. Number two, I eat buns. Buns are eaten by me. Number three, I drink a cup of tea. A cup of tea is drunk by me. Number four, I drink two cups of tea. Two cups of tea are drunk by me. Number five. I write a sentence. A sentence is written by me. 
Number six. I write sentences. Sentences are written by me. Number seven. I see you. You are seen by me. Number eight. I read a book. A book is read by me. Number nine. I read books. Books are read by me. Number ten. I take your pen. Your pen. Wag pen. Mangwag pen ganwa. Your pen is taken by me. Number eleven. I take your pens. Your pens are taken by me. Number twelve. I do homework. Homework is done by me. Now you know how to change. Present tense active voice sentences into present tense passive voice sentences. Okay, goodbye.